they had the beanbag shotgun, the dog, and looked at the, and then the gun. And what did they use? The order they used is they shot him with the gun first. Then, while he's laying there bleeding out, they shoot him with the beanbag and attack him with the dog. Yes, yes. As opposed to uh, shooting him with a beanbag if he resisted, and attacking him with the dog, and then the final option, if they're if they're threatened and fearing for their lives, is to use the gun. So well, if you want to solve it, you bring the man up on murder charges, the cop. He needs to go up on murder charges. It there, was, was there was clearly no justification for lethal force at all there. But the thing that is really, really gut-wrenching is how they tortured the man as you point out, they stick the dog on him after they've shot him. He's, he's been shot, he's bleeding out, and they stick a dog on him. And then they step on him. And it, it, you just have to see this, folks, because we have to get control of our government. We have to get control of them, especially at the local level, at the police. The federal government is hyping these guys up, militarizing them, teaching them that we are the enemy. We are the civilians. They're using the same kind of tactics, the same kind of terminology that they would for an occupying force in a foreign government. And, of course, the founding fathers always warned us that the means of defense abroad would become the means of tyranny at home with a standing army. And we have a standing army here. We have not only a standing military army that has been in place for 60 years since the end of World War II, constantly at war. We have a standing army here at home, the militarized police and the police being used increasingly as military. Thank you, Jerry. Let's go to Patrick in Michigan. Patrick. Hey, David. How you doing? Doing fine. What you got? Thanks for holding down the fort. Well, Alex is hopefully off getting some rest. <laughs> uh, like you said, you needed last week. Uh, I used to live in Key West, Florida. Patrick, I think you're on a... Patrick, I think you're on a speakerphone. Can you pick up the uh, phone? Because we're getting a lot of echo. Uh, let me try this. Yeah. Let's, if anybody's on speakerphone, let's try to get these. Yeah, let's. Uh, we'll come back to you, Patrick. Let's go to uh, AJ in Ohio. AJ. Yeah, hi, David. How you doing? Doing fine. Um, you, you know, you talked about, uh, you know, Trey Gowdy uh, saying that there's no accountability. So I think what we should do is, uh, see, I... It all goes back to this morning. Uh, Blaze put up a, uh, a quick video this morning that I watched, uh, and it actually made me sick because uh, they were showing the riots, but it was before the riots actually broke out. And there was a girl, uh, probably a 110-pound girl or so, uh, was crossing the street, minding her own business. She didn't say anything or do anything. And this cop blindsided this girl like, you know, he was some kind of linebacker or something like that into a bench. And wow. he had no reason or no justification to do such a thing. And, and I don't know about you, but I was raised to not strike a woman. Mm -hmm. you know? And to, to see that absolutely made me sick. So, see, that's why I didn't believe these reports that were being put out by the Daily Mail and others. Because when they started, the way they represented the shooting was totally not what happened. And so when they started representing the fact that these that the riots started when the protesters got violent, I didn't believe that either because I think they started when the protesters got to a size that the police were comfortable attacking them. We've seen that happen. When we went to the, when we went to the open carry rally in San Antonio and there was a thousand people there with rifles and they didn't know which ones were loaded and which ones weren't, the police were very well behaved. But as soon as pretty much everybody left and there was just a couple of people there, they started harassing those people who were left behind. Anything else you wanted to say, uh, Patrick? I'm sorry, AJ? Um that's okay. Um, yeah, um, I, I think that right there was an instigation for them to try to start because every man's instinct is to defend a woman when he sees her, you know, being hurt. So here's what I think we need to do. Uh, the Info Warriors are a powerful force. I think we need to get off the couch and we need to send letters to the state representatives, state representatives in, in, the, you know, in, in that state and say, hey, look, we're, you're going to lose your job because it's an election year unless you hold that chief accountable. Because, honestly, an organization is defined by its leaders. So I think we need to all take a half an hour out of our day and write letters and demand accountability, or we will do everything we can to, to take that person's job away from them. Absolutely. Good point. You know, in that report, that video report that I did, uh, the Albuquerque police trained to shoot first. In spite of all this that's going on, this, this is the place where they had the cop who shot up the van full of kids. Remember that from last fall? Remember where they stopped the guy? The guy had a stop sign violation. They pulled him over. They took him in, gave him 
eight anal probes, billed him for it. That's all New Mexico. The shooting in the van was New Mexico. The police chief who was fired was in New Mexico, the good police chief, because uh, they're not going to fire somebody who stands up for them uh, bullying people. But uh, the response of the state was to change the curriculum at their police academy to a shoot first curriculum. And one of the instructors there was so upset about that that he refused to teach it. So they fired him. See, if you're a good cop, they get you out of the system in New Mexico. And that's what we're seeing happening in other places. It's not just New Mexico, but it's the worst there right now. That's where we need to fight it. We're going to be back right after the break. We're going to take some more of your calls and talk about uh, what's going on in New Mexico and your solutions for what the police should do and how we control them. Stay tuned. The response has been overwhelming, and for that, we say thank you. Hi, I'm Daniel, one of the founders of New Mana Food Storage. You've let us know how much you love our GMO-free and great-tasting storable food. Now, you can help a veteran enjoy that same great taste. Part of every purchase from New Mana will be donated to help a veteran in need enjoy their next meal. Buy with confidence. Buy the best. Buy New Mana. Call 877-817-9829 or visit PowerPrepper.com. New Mana, food storage you'll love to eat. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Jessica Armand here, creator of My Magic Mud, the all-natural teeth whitener and strengthening remedy that's getting rave reviews from GCN listeners. Here's what Austin dentist Dr. Griffin Cole has to say about it. I really love this Magic Mud product. Because charcoal is so absorbent, it's very effective at taking off all the sticky plaque and debris that gets stuck on our teeth every day. I highly recommend My Magic Mud. Visit MyMagicMud.com to hear the full interview with Dr. Cole. Get your jar today. That's MyMagicMud.com. A lot of people's lives and bodies are out of balance. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops optimize pH level and get rid of harmful waste and acid. Just a few drops in water restores vibrance and energy and gets you back in balance. Now order two bottles and get $10 off your order. Sign up for monthly auto shipping and save 25%. Call 800-518-7615 or visit alkavision.com. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at alkavision.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. <laughs> Back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and we're talking to people about the situation in Albuquerque, the out-of-control police department there, and everybody agrees they're out of control. The Justice Department has been investigating them even before this most recent shooting, and we're taking your calls on that subject. We're also going to be covering some other subjects today. In the next hour, we're going to be talking about James Lovelock. He's the guy who came up with the Gaia theory, and he's telling us that environmentalism is religion. Yeah, it is. And we're going to talk about how that's being manifested. But I want to tell you, this hour of the Alex Jones Show is being brought to you by My Patriot Supply. Now, the path to liberty starts with attaining a level of self-reliance. My Patriot Supply is a home of a wide array of survival products, including the Patriot Pantry line of emergency food storage products. Patriot Pantry is delicious, nutritious, and prepares in minutes. 
Patriot Pantry offers amazing variety, great taste, and is packaged to last up to 25 years. Visit MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex today to experience their top-rated customer service, top-quality products, and incredibly reasonable prices. The products you need, the service you expect, the price you can afford, visit MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today. Now, we were just talking to callers. If there's anybody from New Mexico that wants to, that has some personal experience or perhaps was maybe even at the demonstrations yesterday and could shed some light on what happened because these demonstrations that were going on, first it was at least 500 people. That's what the media reported. They typically underreport those numbers. As it dwindled down to 100, we just had a uh, caller say that he saw video footage that the police uh, shoved a young lady Things deteriorated. Uh, the police are saying that it was when uh, protesters got violent, that they got violent. But, of course, they show up in full riot gear in a confrontation and are in people's faces. People are already upset and angry about what was clearly the murder of an innocent man. Uh, there was not any excuse. There was no reason for these officers to feel like they were threatened by this guy. He had his back to them. He was walking away and he was telling them as he was putting on his backpack, it's okay, everything's fine, as we talked about. And then they just shoot him and stick the dog on him as he's dying. We've got a couple of people who are already on the line. Uh, Kelly in Texas, did you want to talk about this? Hello? Yes, Kelly, go ahead. David? Hi, yes. I want to, um, I want to talk to you about some aviation activity that we've been witnessing um, increased over the last couple of weeks. I live in New Braunfels, so I am near San Antonio. We live near Randolph and Lackland. Mm -hmm. But um, we saw a couple of days ago two UN um, marked AC-130s followed by four Osprey. My husband's saying the Osprey were in the lead. Um, and then we are building south of San Antonio and have seen um, loaded F-16. So what's your, I uh, think is odd. what's your take on this? Because we saw, we had a video on the InfoWars site about a large um, surveillance plane. It looked like uh, it sealed windows and that sort of thing. Doing loops right around the Austin airport here. And, of course, that was happening uh, about a year ago, downtown Austin, doing very, very low flights. So uh, what, what's your take on it? What do you think is going on? Well, my take on it, and it definitely encompasses what you're speaking of today with the police militarization, mm -hmm. I think is a symptom of we are seeing um, the desperation of the oligarchy. I really think they know that their days are numbered. Well, it's, it's getting, it's intensifying, that's for sure. And we've got a new report today up on InfoWars. Thank you very much, Kelly. we got a report about Bilderberg, where it's going to be. And we're also going to talk to you about what's coming up with the 2016 presidential election. So stay tuned. We'll be right back, and we'll take your calls on the police situation. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network.